make sure I pay attention to the road as well. Loki is back. Um, that makes me very happy, as you can see, the big smile on my face. Uh, I miss the feeling of a Porsche under my ass. Um, I had to get used to it again, like it's quite powerful. And uh, I have to say, I don't know if this new engine is maybe in a little bit better condition than the one before. Um, like it might have a little bit more power or I just completely lost the feeling of uh, what it is to drive this car. Let me just take this uh, roundabout. Okay, nice and I just love roundabouts, it's crazy. Roundabouts everywhere. Anyway, so um, last video, I uh, told you in extreme detail what happened to Loki last summer, how I hydrolocked the engine in the river. And uh, I mentioned that we found a solution. It took a little longer than I expected. Uh, I thought we were gonna, you know, spend a couple of days, maybe a week swapping it, but we bumped into a few other things and the mechanic didn't have that much time. He squeezed, squeezed it in. In, in between the other work. He also let me do a few things to bring the cost down. So I was using his garage space after hours. Uh, so the car was going in and out and in and out and in and out of the garage and it took a little while. Um, but we swapped the engine. It was actually pretty quick, pretty easy. We kept the transmission on that engine. The previous transmission on Loki was pretty good, but uh, the mechanic was like, well, I've never seen it work, so I don't want to take the risk. We kept the engine on the subframe as well because the subframe of the donor car was a bit better and then I uh, took the original steel spring suspension from the donor car as well. The springs on the original uh, steel suspension are way thicker and stronger than uh, the swap kit that I uh, used before and I took a few other bits of the uh, donor car like things that were missing on my car or that were broken. And Loki deserved to come out and be outside of the city. Um, I'm happy to be here. This is the uh, testing ground of Loki. This is where a year ago I came to uh, do the first drives the first tests of the new modifications on the big wheels which was a pretty good test i was very very happy about that i uh, i'm not gonna go too crazy today um, i don't want to do that yet i think loki deserves a little bit more love and a little bit more preparation we're not gonna rush it we gotta put a snorkel up here um, I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to do that. I might do a very simple build, a very simple snorkel, because um, there's some nice designs out there, but they're pretty expensive. And I need to figure out a way to have two snorkels um, or have a connection between the uh, air boxes over the engine. We took the subframe from the donor Porsche. So I have to put some threader rivets in the subframe to be able to put the big skid blade back. And then once the big skid plate is back, I'll take this plastic cover off again. The lights are missing. Somebody uh, took them while the car was parked in an uh, industrial area for a couple months in front of the garage. Um, at some point, somebody, uh, somebody took the shot and uh, basically ripped them off. Uh, well, unscrewed them and cut the cables. And they, uh, they only took these four. So I got the exact same four on the roof rack as well. They're from Osram. They decided to only take these ones because it was convenient, easy, and out of sight. Really nice lights. I'm very sad about missing these four. So I hope Osram can send me uh, a few more. These ones came from the other car. They're in better shape, but I actually prefer the white lights. So I'm gonna switch this back to the, to the white lights. The donor engine didn't come with the resonators right behind the engine that Loki did have. So without the big muffler, this engine was just way too loud. It was 160 B. Uh, the guys at inspections were like, come on, that's a little too much. And I have to admit, um, I wanna be able to drive in the, in the city or long distance and not go too crazy. I think I'm gonna put some small mufflers in the next couple of weeks just to, uh, to have the raw V8 sound that Loki had, which was amazing, but, um, but not too crazy loud so we don't go insane. 
Uh, yeah, what else? Oh yeah, we don't have butt flaps. We don't have fender flares. We lost them in the rally. Uh, I'm gonna have to put them back uh, or, or design better ones, make better ones. Um, definitely necessary. Yeah, and uh, the last thing is uh, the uh, the ring, the uh, sort of the design, sticker design of the car. I'm not sure yet. I really like the two lines, very simple, very retro. Uh, a little bit like a pace car, actually. It's like a pace car look. But the sponsors, the deal with the sponsors is, is done. It, it is a cool look because it makes a really legit rally, but uh, maybe we need to move on and do something else. Or if you guys have some suggestions, maybe we can come up with a new design for Loki. If somebody wants a sponsor and somebody wants their name on this and wants to pay for this, great. Um, um, I'm up for it. I'm up for new sponsors, but I'm also uh, into creating like a unique look for, for Loki. A uh, very recognizable, unique look. I like the race number. It gives it like a cool, legit race car look. Uh, rally race car look, but uh, not a great fan of this blue. And uh, I think, uh, yeah, it's, uh, maybe it's too rough for a look for what we're gonna do with it next. So I might have to take that off, but it's, it's a bit sentimental. I don't wanna take it off because it's like, I, I carry this number with pride. I, I drive around with this like, yo guys, we did this. Almost exactly a year ago, we went to Tunisia and we drove a rally raid with this car. And that's something to be proud of. And uh, thanks Jeroen for joining me on that one. Uh, I wouldn't have been able to do it without you. We did this together. Team Loki. Uh, but Team Loki is not done yet. There's so much more to come. I'm already happy to be out here. Happy to have Loki where Loki belongs and uh, bring you guys with me. Um, it's, uh, it's been some tough months. Uh, wasn't able to really make content around Loki and I feel that's where this channel is is mostly headed is adventures with Loki and I'm happy to be out in the wild again. Um, the last video uh, was shot mostly inside. I don't think that's where this channel is going even though it was a nice look. I mean I'm a professional filmmaker. I can do the YouTube look really easily but um, I, uh, I prefer to be here. I prefer to move around with the camera and it, it, I was a bit rusty. I have to admit, um, I had to push myself to come out and do this. Uh, but once I started started um, you know, filming and putting the camera in different angles and driving around and cleaning up Loki, that helped a lot as well to get the motivation to do this again. So we are, we are back. We're gonna take it slow. We're not gonna rush it because we rushed it last summer. Um, and uh, but we, we do have big plans. I have some big goals. Um, summer is coming soon. The snow will melt, and um, we're gonna take Loki into the Highlands again, but properly. So basically, we're, we need a snorkel. We're gonna build a snorkel. That's very important. Um, but uh, we're gonna take Loki back to the Highlands, and uh, yeah. So we're back, baby. We are back. Uh, subscribe and like and all that kind of stuff and uh, yeah ask me your questions in the comments follow follow us on uh, Instagram 955 underscore Loki or my Instagram is Frank frames things uh, yeah ask me everything about I'm, I'm super super um, happy to answer all your questions I get uh, all sorts of questions about the build and the modifications and I'm, I'm excited to help you guys out and you know push this community because I think this community is still growing and uh, these these babies deserve to be out there let's let's get them out there all right stick around see you guys later <laughs>